what do you also look out for when buying a car? I have the aspects on. Oh no, no, oh no, I can't win him. He, he says it with an experience. God, we're going home school. So let's go to Ibrahim Mahama. And he is going to tell us the things, I mean, some of the things you should look out for when buying a car. We're going to talk about uh, things to look out for when buying a car. And uh, basically, it's going to be used car, not brand new cars anyway. So, the first thing to look out for when buying a used car, for me, is to find out the history of the car. That's the first important point. Either it's a flat car, accident car, or even a stolen car. That is the first one. Now, when all these checks are done, satisfied, the best form of test is to commit the car to the road. Be it automatic or, or manual. Try to commit the car to the road and drive between 120 to 140 kilometers. Make sure you are in overdrive on the motorway for about 30 minutes. Whatever wrong with the car it will be known. Either the uh, lights will be flashed on the, on the dashboard or in some instances, there wouldn't, uh, there wouldn't be any sign on the dashboard, but there still can be a problem with the transmission. Now what is important is that, let's assume that it's an automatic transmission. When driving in the fifth gear in automatic, before you get to the fifth gear, try to look at the shift pattern. Either it's a delay shift, early shift, erratic shift, a banging or a noise. Now, even a bad transmission oil can cause a particular noise. So you check all the shift pattern. Try to kick down in upper gear, try to keep down in, in, uh, in, in uh, lower, lower gear and see how the response is. The uh, uh, kick down should also be looked at, whether it is off and shoot at a proper rate or not. Now, whatever the problem is, any, no, there are several protocols in the car. The engine, the transmission, ABS, R, I, R, 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 RS, 4x4, etc., etc. Each and every has a protocol that will, that will be able to inform you if there's a problem with the car. So what you do is to connect the, the car to a scanner. And if there's any electrical, electronic for the scanner, we'll, we'll be able to tell. Now, having done that, what are wrong with the car will depend whether the price, the price of the car will change, depend on the fault that you find on the car. If I have a problem, if I drive a, a test, a, 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 a transmission, a, a transmission car on the road, and I find that the tra tra transmission is faulty, either the price will come down or I stay away from that a, a transmission. There are pretty many things that will not matter so much when buying. Uh, 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 car. Certain things are just manner that you can overlook, but certain things are not, and you have to take it very, very, very uh, serious. The best is to have uh, a technician to rotate the car with you, I repeat. Try to have a technician to rotate the car with you. Make sure you drive between 120 to 140 miles in, a, in, 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 in overdrive about 30 minutes. Whatever wrong with the car will show up. Whatever wrong will show up. And this is a very and important to do before buying the car and start spending money unnecessarily on the car as well. So these are the things that I think we should look out for when we are buying the car. Try to get a technician. When you are driving around town driving without getting one twenty, you won't be able to know. There are problems that just come out after 120 and 140. So just driving around 30, 40 and car change doesn't mean it's okay. Try to hit the overdrive at least 140. If you can even go more than that, if the road will allow you to do that. Do that and believe me, any problem with the car will show. After 30 minutes, one hour, any problem with the car will be This is the best thing to do when one intends to buy a used car.